Hello, my name is Brian Patrick. I am an IronSpeed MVP, and today we're going to show you how to have your application send an email when a user adds a record or edits a record. Now, the first thing we need to do, obviously, is to have access to an email server to send our emails. We, this can either be an in house mail server, or you can do what I've done, and that is to sign up for a simple uh, outgoing SMTP service called SendGrid. Once you've signed up for a, a, a service, or you can get your settings from your administrator, what you need to do is put those in your web config file. Okay. Under the web config file, you'll notice a section called Mail Settings. And in here, you can see where I've put the settings for SendGrid. My host name, SendGrid requires port 587, and you can see my username and password for sending emails. Okay, once we've modified the settings, our mail ser uh, settings in our web config file, the next step is to go ahead and modify the button actions on the add and edit, re add and edit record pages. In my database, I have a table called schools, and I've gone ahead and created an add schools table. Very simple uh, add schools table. Simply has a couple fields, the name, the school district, and the type. Okay. What we need to do is modify the actions on the save button so that it'll send an email when the user adds a new school. In design mode, let's go ahead and select the Save button. And you notice right now there's two button actions. The button action to save the data and then go back to the previous page. What we want to do is add an, an action, and that is to send an email when the user clicks on the Save button. Okay. We can send an email for the current record, all selected records, or all records. Since this is an add record, we're going to simply send the current record, the record that's just been added. We're going to say it's from myself. We're going to send it to myself, and I won't worry about the CC or the BC for now. Okay, now it's asking for the subject of the email. We'll say a new school has been added. And there's two ways to send the body content to your email. You can either send a web page, or we can send just a plain text um, body of an email saying that a record's been added. I'll go ahead and show both methods. But the first time, I'm going to go ahead and just show a text, a text body. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and say a simple text message that says, a new school has been added. And let's go ahead and give them the school name. School name. And we can go ahead and here and say insert variable. If we do this, you notice that it's going to say, it's going to pick the fields from my school records control, the record that I'm adding. I'm going to go ahead and say, I want to add the field school name. Okay, and we'll say what kind of school type it is, whether it's an elementary, a middle school, or a high school. Okay, once again, I'm adding records from my school record control, and this time I'm going to pick the school type. And that's it. So you can see what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've created the subject of the email, and I've said I want to use text with substitution variables for the content of the email. Go ahead and hit next and finish. And that's all we need to do. Let's go ahead and test this and see what the, the looks like. Go to live preview. Okay, this is my ad school page. I'm going to go ahead and type in a school name, test school. Let's go ahead and say it's in the Allen School District, and it's an elementary school. Let's save it. And now we'll wait for our email to come in. Okay, and we've received our email. And here's what it looks like. Notice it has a subject, a new school has been added. And it has the text that we entered in our uh, add button. And we're going to replace the name of the school and replace the school type. Okay, we've seen how easy it is to email just a plain text email when the user adds a record or edits a record. Now let's make it send a more interesting page by passing the URL of a page that we want to send that will contain the contents of what we want to email to the user. 
Okay. So before we reduce to plain text, now we're going to create a page and have IronSpeed email that page to the user when the record is added or edited. So the first thing we need to do, obviously, is to create a page. Let's go ahead to design mode. And under our schools folder here, let's go ahead and create a new page for emailing. So we're going to create an email page. And my page is fine. I don't mind calling it my page. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to go ahead and drop on here a a show record, an email record for our schools table so that when they add a school will show the contents of that record in the body of the email. So on my blank page I'm going to go to my toolbox, go to my report for, unrelated tables, I'm going to find my schools table, okay, and I'll drop it on here. Now the record I want is an emailable printable page because this is going to be a I'm sorry an email printable record because we want just our our school's record to be emailed to us when they add a new school. Okay, and I'm just going to pick one column, and I'll just pick a few. I want the school district. And we'll have just a few fields on our email. The name, the school district, and the type. Just like the fields that we entered. Okay. Now if we look here, we'll see that IronSpeed is expecting us to pass a parameter called schools. So that'll be the ID of the field that we want of the record that we want to display. So what we want to do is what we want to do is we want to pass an ID called schools uh, of the record display, and then we'll send that from our add record page. Okay. Let's go ahead and build this. We need to build it first so that we can tell the add record page to point to this page. And the page doesn't exist until we build the application. Okay. Let's go back to our add schools page. Go to our save button. Now we still have the uh, the, the button action for send a school a new school has been added email. Let's go ahead and modify that, and we'll change it to point to the new record that we just created. And I mean, I'm sorry, the new page that we just created. Okay. We'll go ahead and leave who it's from and to. We'll keep the subject, but this time instead for the body content instead of the, the text with substitutions, we're going to tell it we want to send a web page. We can browse to our URL. Remember it was my page. So we're going to send schools my page. And we need to send it a parameter. We need to send it which school ID that we want to um, display that will be in the body of the email. Remember when we looked at it, it's looking for a parameter called schools, the same as our table name. And we need to tell it which value to pass. We're going to pass our schools record. And I'm going to pass the school ID field. Okay. Do next to next and finish. Okay. Now let's go ahead and add another school, and we should see that we'll get a, a full URL, an HTML body email with that page that we created. Okay. Back to our add school page, and this time let's call it test school two to differentiate from the previous one we did. We'll go ahead and put it back in Allen School District, and we'll say this is a high school. Okay. And now we'll wait for that email to come in. Okay, that didn't take long. Here is our email that we just received. You know, now it looks pretty because it has the uh, the full show record that we did before, and there it is, the record that we added the test school to, uh, the foreign key into our school district's table, Allen, in the high school. So as you can see, there are two ways to send an email uh, when a record is either added or uh, modified. You can add the the button action to send an email, and they tell it just to do an, a plain text body of an email where you can do substitution of of uh, fields. Or you can have it create a page and have it send that page as an email to a user.
Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this video.